Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're gonna to do uh, your love reading. Please remember this is a general reading um, and everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, you can check out your other signs. Uh, my playlist link is in the description box as well if you'd like to get more messages. And, and then also, uh, I'm not doing personal readings at this time. Um, I'm a bit, uh, have a lot on my plate, I'll just say. So um, I will open it up again, but I will let you guys know and girls know when. So um, also, um, what else do I have down there? I do do a monthly giveaway, so you can check out the details if you'd like to enter. I will be doing the next one uh, pretty soon here. I do do it every month. And then lastly, I have a new channel if you're new. Uh, called Heal to Love 333. I created a healing and meditation channel uh, for my subscribers. And um, there's some links below, okay, some, for some very common videos that I've already published. That one is uh, for the heart chakra. It's for opening up your heart chakra so you can manifest love, uh, heal past hurts, and remove any blockages, okay, so that you can have healthy love. Um, I do incorporate Reiki energy. I am a Reiki therapist. And then also there is one for the root chakra, which is for grounding and stability, um, and also removing blockages so that you can manifest abundance in your life. And lastly, I, I published a new video last night uh, from Archangel Michael. Uh, or it's an Archangel Michael meditation uh, with messages and releasing fear and anxiety. Okay, so feel free to check that out. So I already pulled here two cards, and I'm gonna pull one more because I feel this one's sticking out. Very nice. We were just talking about abundance and abundance came out. All right. So you have number two, which is patience. Okay, so this is uh, a divine timing card, a patience card, so it's a situation uh, where you know you may be wanting something to happen soon, but it's going to take a little bit of time, is what they're saying. There may be some sort of decision involved here, whether it's for you or the other person. Um, and number two may be important too. So if you're seeing synchronicities of twos, that's your message. You have number 46, which is domestic harmony. So I definitely see this is around a relationship, a union. I feel there's some sort of cycle here coming to completion as well, because uh, you have uh, number 10 here, which equates to number one, which tells me there's going to be some sort of new beginning in your situation when it comes to love. And then look here, you have 88 uh, abundance. So if eight is important to you or you're seeing eights, uh, this is another synchronicity, but this is a sign of abundance, okay? A very lucky energy here. I always see eights as um, the possibilities are infinite uh, with eights. So beautiful energy so far, Scorpio. Let's uh, pull some tarot. So I'm going to pull some tarot, we'll clarify, and then we'll do a few oracles. So let me get a couple more shuffles. I hope everyone's well, safe, and healthy. I'm going to be doing a whole series of Archangel uh, messages uh, on my new channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I was checking to see if my deck was upside down, and I saw the Empress. All right, so you are definitely manifesting abundance in your life. Let's uh, pull some cards now for Scorpio. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio? All right, so you have... <laughs> The hanging man right next to patience. All right, so there's some sort of delay. You have the five of pentacles and you have the ace of cups. Let's get three more cards. You have the three of swords. 
you have the five of cups and you have the ace of swords all right bottom of the deck yeah here is that change i was saying something coming to a completion here with the world card okay with the world you could be dealing with an aquarius a leo a taurus and this is your energy scorpio i feel uh you are closing out a chapter in your life and this is also a card of success so i feel like with this abundance and the patience card i feel there is definitely a shift happening in your life when it comes to love i feel like you're closing out a connection or relationship and i really feel this is new energy i'm seeing coming in here so your first two cards uh you have is the hanging man and the three of swords now you do have aquarius libra and gemini energy here I feel the patience card um, is indicating here there is a delay when it comes to love. I feel like you may have just come out of something that was very hurtful and painful, and I sense here that you are healing from it. We will clarify the cards as well. You have the five of pentacles and the five of cups. Two fives here, showing me you're going through a transition. And I feel like you were dealing with somebody in the past who was not very supportive, somebody who definitely uh, made you feel alone or, um, you know, just was not there for you. And I see that there is some sort of sadness or regret. I want to say here too, roles can be reversed. So if it resonates for you the other way, then take it how it resonates. Now, in your near future position, you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords, and this is beautiful. This tells me here uh, that there is definitely something very beautiful coming in. A whole, I feel like this is a new love, a new start. It can be union with your person. We'll see when we clarify the cards, but I do see a very abundant relationship coming in for you, okay? Um, this also, the Ace of Cups too also talks about patience, okay, with these fish here, okay, swimming around, waiting, okay, maybe waiting for whatever's coming out of that cup, okay, so this does talk about patience as well, okay, so it may take a bit of time. So let's uh, clarify the cards. So with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords, um, I sense here that this new person or whether it's new person or union, uh, for a lot of you I feel this is a new person, is coming in around three weeks, okay? Three weeks. It could be as early as three days, but I feel like it's three weeks because I feel like there's some healing that's needed in your situation. Let's... Um, Let's clarify the hanging man and the three of swords. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the hanging man and the three of swords here, please? You have the temperance card, another card of healing, and you have the two of pentacles, and bottom of the deck here you have the page of pentacles. All right. So you have the temperance card, and you have the two of pentacles. And you have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like um, wherever this hurt is stemming from, I feel like you could receive some sort of message from this person, okay? Um, and I feel like the energy here is that uh, you're unsure if you even want to heal this connection. That's what I'm getting here, okay? I feel like you may go back and forth whether you know you even want to heal this because i do see something happen that was very painful um i also sense here there was something very complicated here with the hangman as well um but let's clarify uh why is the five of pentacles and the five of cups here please you have the tower and you have the ten of cups bottom of the deck here you have the king of swords all right so i feel there was something here um i feel like there was something that 
you received okay you have the the king of swords here i feel like there was some sort of message or some sort of clarity or truth that came out that was very hurtful and very painful okay and i feel that this definitely um is that pain and hurt that i am seeing i feel like there was something that was a shock or you know something that was revealed here okay with this king of swords there was some clarity I feel that you received in your situation. And that's why I feel like for a lot of you, you may not even want to be with this person. Look at that. You have the Magician clarifying the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. And you have the Lover's card. Wow. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. And you have the Hierophant. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. This could be somebody that you were married to or somebody that uh, could have been married. That could have been what the secret was or they could have been in a relationship. Okay. Um, it's very interesting here because I do see the possibility of uh, union here. Okay. Uh, with the magician and the lovers, okay? I feel like there is a possibility for a new start with this person if you're wanting a new start, all right? Uh, it does show me here a very strong connection. This can be a twin flame connection, um, but for others, I feel this can be you manifesting a new soulmate in your life, all right? Let's, um, let's pull some psychic tarot oracle cards, see what other messages come in. I feel like two for some of you because you have the two of pentacles, the ten of cups, and the lovers. You could even uh, have two people in your life. I've been seeing that a lot in the readings recently where, um, you know, you have someone from your past, okay, somebody who may have been um, toxic, um, and then somebody new comes in, and then boom, here comes the other person again, all right. Phil, for some of you, could have even been married uh, to this past person. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio? All right. I have my duck upside down. All right. Heart the throat chakra. You have patience and planning. Oh, sorry. You have, I don't read reversals. You have positive movement forward, and you have discomfort and boredom and that's what I'm feeling here I feel like some of you um, just are very disappointed with this person uh, I feel here that hurt you um, and I feel like some of you feel like there's no hope in this situation that's not going to be for all of you I'm also getting here with this throat chakra okay uh, which is number five I feel like your person really needs to speak up um, because that is the only thing I feel here that can change. I feel like there's something that your person um, has to say or needs to say. And I feel like this is where there's that back and forth energy. I feel like it's really going to come down to a conversation between the two of you. Um, whether you're going to want union or not. Uh, you have the patience and planning. okay, And this is number seven. So I feel this is a challenge for you because, like I said, I feel this is somebody who may have, um, you know, devastated you and uh, you may have been happy with this person and then boom, I feel like there was some, some truth that came to light here and now you're having to make a decision. Okay, do I move forward or do I want to work on things with this person? Because I do sense uh, for some of you, you're going to have a choice between two options. You have here a uh, positive movement forward. Now this fell in the fresh start, uh, new love, new beginning, lovers. I feel there is going to be happiness ahead. Um, and it's going to be your choice which way you, you move. But I sense here this is more about moving forward into the new. Because I see you closing out a cycle here with the world card. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords. So this is telling me um, I feel the, the new for you is what's really going to bring in this abundance. Because you also have number 
10 here, okay, completion here, and then you have patience because I feel like you're healing from a past situation. All right, Scorpio, I do sense that there is uh, somebody new coming in, okay, but some of you, you may even have the opportunity to work out uh, something with your person, okay, because the lovers for me can be a choice between two people. All right, so uh, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, again, details are below for the giveaway, and if you would like to uh, check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.